out of state, out of state investing. That's what you Googled. That's how you got here, right? Out of state investing. Where's the best cash flow markets? All this stuff. I got it all for you. How about we get you a property where you only got to pay 13 grand? 13 grand. $13,000 cash, you get a fully occupied rental in a very lovely neighborhood with full service property management from moi. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. Look at all these hand movements, man. Oh, I'm I'm gonna bust I'm busting out some moves today. Now, what I am doing is working with an out-of-state investor named Leo. Leo, you have come to me. You've come to Holton Wise for me to help you get very low-cost real estate and then handle the property management for you, right? You live in another market, a market that is not the market we're going to be investing in today. You're looking to invest out of state because you're priced out of that market, right? It's hard to be a landlord where you live, right? The pricing just doesn't make sense. A $13,000 investment will not get you a rental property where you live, but that's okay. That's why I'm here. That's what Holton Wise does. We help people like you get these very low-cost investments. Now, we're out here in the Cleveland market, and if you're out there on Zillow, you're going to see a lot of really cheap houses in Cleveland, okay? But what I do is more than just go, ah, here's a cheap house. Here you go, bro. I don't do that. Not every house is that is cheap is going to make sense for you in what you're trying to do, right? That is evidenced by the fact that earlier, I just did a video for you where you sent me a very, very cheap house. And you're like, oh, man, if this one passes the sniff test, let's do this deal. And I'm like, no, I can't have you doing this one, bro. If you do this deal, I think you're taking on too much risk. I think the ARVs don't make sense. I think you may lose money. I don't want to see you guys do bad deals. I want you guys to do the deals that make sense for you. So I combine your goals, your wants, your needs with my market knowledge, and then my infrastructure here in Cleveland running the biggest property management company of its type, right? So with that, I said, dude, let's not do this deal. I'm going to send you two more houses uh, that are very, very cheap. Again, today's house, only going to need about 13 grand, and I think they're going to be much safer, higher level of success investments for you. So let's jump into the numbers right now. Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up the numbers on this particular property. Now, this one is going to be a cheapy, 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 cheapy deal. We're going to try to get a pretty good deal on this one. It's listed at a price that would allow you to think you're going to get a good deal, but we could do even better, okay? 1721 Tate Street, Lorraine. 69 grand, but that's not a good price. If it was, it wouldn't be on the market for 64 days. I can do better for you. I believe I can beat that seller into submission into giving us the price we want. And the price we want is 55 grand. I want to see you pick this up at 55 grand. Now, why am I confident I can get the price down, right? Because they got some issues with this particular property and how it's being marketed to the buyers. Now, looks pretty cool inside, right? But you notice there's furniture in there because somebody lives there, folks. Oh, by the way, before I even get into that, why this is up, this looks pretty damn new. This looks pretty damn new. I guess these are both three years old or newer, which is big money for you guys, okay? This 
Usually it's like a thousand right now, like with COVID going crazy, it could be up to like 1300 at the moment, right? Thank you, Joe Biden. Uh, this one right here, furnace, they last 30 years, usually cost about three G's, maybe like up to 3,500 during crazy COVID. Your hot water tanks last 15. Those are big ticket items. So the fact that these are new, that is awesome, right? Now back to what I was gonna say though, back to your regularly scheduled programming. As you see, somebody lives there, right? It's a tenant, okay? And that is going to help us get the price down. That is partly why the property's been on the market for 64 days at such a cheap price, 69K. I mean, don't! $68 a square foot, right? You can't build a house these days in 2022 for any less than like $200 a square foot, right? So this is dirt freaking cheap. But I think we can get it cheaper. Why? Well, a few reasons. One, that tenant, they live there, okay? I know everybody out there who's watching Holton Wise TV is like, yeah, tenant, that's awesome. Why wouldn't you want a tenant? Guys, I know, but can pause. You guys, sometimes you guys forget. We're investors. We buy these things as monetary vehicles. But you know there's another thing that people buy houses for, right? People do buy these to live in them. I know I forget about it sometimes. I know you guys forget about it, right? Other people just want to live in homes. They don't want to make money off of them, right? So, what happens is when you have a house like this, half your buyer pool just got cut out of the equation, right? The more buyers you have, the higher the demand for your product, the more money you get for it. Well, guess what? Half the buyers in the world that are trying to buy these houses out in this neighborhood here, they ain't going to buy this one because there's a tenant in there, right? So that's going to help us get the price down. Second thing, the market rent. Let's pull this bad boy up on the Chizart. Market rents, 925, 11,100 a year, right? 925 for this bad boy. Well, guess what? The landlord's a mom and pop landlord. He's giving it away. He's only renting it for six and a quarter. That's good. Good for you. Why? Because we're going to use that to our advantage. So you got a house. Normally, you'd market the house to two people. People that want to buy it as a rental property or people that want to live on it. Well, guess what? The people that want to live in it, they don't like this house because people already live there. That just leaves landlords, me, you. Well, guess what? A lot of landlords are like, ah, oh, I'd only need rent for six and a quarter. I could do better. They don't know that the rent is really supposed to be nine and a quarter, which is why I think I could take those two things and beat the seller down and pick it up for 55K. Now, at market rent, we're looking after fixed and variable expense estimates of having my company handle all the management for you. We're looking at a cool profit of about 5,200 a year. And guess what? This work gets amazing. This is why I love real estate, folks. We're going to finance the sucker, right? Could pay cash, sure. But you might want to refinance it out later if you pay cash up front or you just pay with a loan uh, up front if you can. 13750 is all that needs to go into the deal, folks. 13750 That is nothing. That is like pennies in the grand scheme of things, especially when we're looking at these things from other markets. Maryland, California, New York, thirteen grand. Come on, nothing, right? That would project out to a 23% cash on cash return. And as far as getting the rent from six and a quarter to nine and a quarter, you don't just kick out the tenant. You don't just jack it up 300 bucks, right? You want to slowly increase it because you don't want to create an artificial turnover. As nice as that house did look inside, looks like the tenant takes pretty good care of this property. They got all their stuff around. Once all that stuff gets moved out, it's going to look a little rough. It's not going to be show ready. You're going to have to do a turnover, probably repaint, probably drop like 10 Gs, right? You don't want to do that. So you want to keep that tenant in there as long as you can. So you want to slowly increase that rent so you don't create an artificial turnover. And as far as the neighborhood, Solid C-ish type grade neighborhood, right? I like Lorraine a lot, about a half hour west of Cleveland. I feel like we get a lot better deals in Lorraine today. Now, six months from now, that could change. But that's what I do, folks. I keep my thumb on the pulse of the market for you so you don't have to. And right now, we're getting some serious value out there in Lorraine because not a lot of people are focused on it. So let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.